Hello and welcome to Upside Down. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create normal decals inside Unreal 4. We are going to learn how to create such effect inside Unreal 4, which can add extra layer of details to our scenes. I'll first go quickly to the setup, sculpting, and after that we are going to set up all the materials and show you how to use it inside Unreal. Let's start. First, I'm going to create a plane with measurements that are 3 by 3 meters, and also I'm going to add few subdivisions. I'll be creating this plane because we are going to use it for the baking and as well I'm going to import it after that inside ZBrush and I want both the high poly and the low poly model to have the exact measurements so that once we are baking everything will fit perfectly. Now that we have our plane done I'm just going to import it inside ZBrush and we are ready to add some subdivisions, turning off the smoothing because we don't want any of the corners to be rounded. And now we can already pick a brush that we like and start sculpting. Now that we are ready with our damage decal, we just need to export the high poly and since we used the plane that we just created, the positions of the high poly and the low poly are going to be the same. So we can just open Substance Painter or any other application that we want to bake it and do our baking. Here inside Substance I'm just going to create a new file, I'll bake everything on 4K and now I'm just going to select the low poly of the plane that we just exported. We are going to Texture bake mesh maps we don't need id and thickness and for resolution again i'm going to choose 4k on high definition meshes i'm going to load the mesh that we just exported from zbrush and once everything's set i'm just going to click bake Notice that while we were baking, there were some parts that didn't take into consideration the information that was provided from the high poly. This is because the distance for the projection was not correct, so I'm going to go one more time into baking options and increase the rare distance. Now that we are ready with our bake, our next step is going to be to export the maps that we just baked. Remember that we are just creating a decal which is going to influence the normal map and how the normal map in our scene behaves. So we don't really care about any of the other maps that are being generated and at the end we are just going to bring the normal map to Unreal. Now we are ready to start inside Unreal 4. What I have opened is just the default regular scene with the third person template inside. I also imported our normal op that we just created inside Substance Painter and now I'm going to create a decal material. I'm going to right click, material, and we are going to name it mm decal01. I will drag and drop our normal map inside. And now what we need to do is few changes. First, we are going to change the material domain. Instead of using surface, I'm going to change it to the fur decal. And instead of opaque, I'm going to use translucent. Another change that we need to do is to change the decal blend mode. Instead of using translucent, we are going to use normal. And now we are ready to connect our normal texture to the normal slot. We can, we can now compile and save it, close the material, and I'm going to drag and drop from place actor a decal. And into the decal material slot, we are going to drop our material that we just created. Now, as you can see, 
we already have on our surface projected the normal that we just created. This is a very easy way to add extra layer of details on your scenes. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope that it was useful and helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel for more free tutorials. Leave a comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial on a certain topic. See you next time.